Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss this very commonly asked question, difference between different counts, count star, count one, count zero, count minus one. So we will discuss about everything, clear the concept. So after this video, you won't have any confusion. A lot of people were asking me and also I think if I have a SQL YouTube channel, this question is mandatory. So yeah, let's go ahead. So I have this employee table. Okay, and we will play with department name column. Okay, one of the though I have made everything null just to make a point, and one more value is null, and everything else is populated. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we will do count star. Okay, so what count star will do? Count star will give you all the number of rows in a table. So basically, they are twelve rows. Even if all the values are null, right? This row will also be counted, right? So if I do count star, it will give me 12. We have 12 rows, right? I have 12 rows, right? Now we talk about different count 1, count 0, right? So if I do count 1, what will happen? So count will, 1 will also give same thing. Okay, let me run this. If you think it is giving also 12. Because what is happening is, when I say count 1, see, I will show you what is happening. When I say count 1, I am counting this constant value 1. This is a constant literal value 1, right? So it will count 1 12 times. For first row, second row, for each row it is just counting a constant value 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and they are 12 times, right? So it is giving me 12. Now instead of 1, I can put anything in the word. I can put 0. Still it will give me 12. I can put minus 1 it will give me 12 right i can put anything i can put a, uh, a string value also i can put ankit it will give me same right so don't get confused between this this is all same count star count one count hundred count minus one count zero everything is same the only thing different is when i'm choosing a particular column so what i'm going to do now i will take a column department name so i will say give me count of department name so now what will happen in the count of department name it will only count not null values so there are two null values out of 12 right so it will give me 10 it will not count null values for that column so if i run it will be 12 12 10 right 12 12 12 10 right so this is the only thing you have to remember that when i'm giving a particular column null will be excluded that's it that's it. You don't have to remember anything about count. Be clear. Last thing I want to tell is you can do distinct also. So it will give you distinct value, right? So the distinct value in this column analytics, IT and HR. So you will get three. That's it. You have to know about count. So please don't get confused. It is easy. Have a great day. Bye.